So I am here at Aldi where we are going to be doing a grocery store tour. Let's see if I can get a picture of the sign. I'm short, so hopefully I won't get run over by a car, but that's where we are. So let's venture in. Today I have my trusty helper with me. Elijah, <laughs> say hello. Come on, say hello. All right, well, he's hi, not. Hi. hi, okay. So today we're going to be going through all of these. And I'm gonna show you some of the key tips that I use when I do my grocery store tours with my clients and even how I shop for myself. So let's begin. So right now we are at the produce section. And I will say when you go to any grocery store, you want to make sure that you are first shopping the perimeter. The reason you want to shop the perimeter is because that's where you're going to fill up on your nutrients most at the perimeter. And so as you see, Aldi, for a small store, has a pretty decent selection of vegetables and fruits. This is a portion of their organic section, which we'll also venture to the other side and see that section as well. And then they have some more over here. All right, so let's dig in and see what we have here. When you are looking for spinach or any type of green leafy vegetable, especially if it's packaged, you wanna make sure that there's no water coming down to the bottom because if there's water there, that means it's starting to wilt, it's not fresh, and that's not what you want. Of course, I always recommend if you can get lettuce that is out, that is fresh, that is not in a package, that's gonna be cheaper for you than if you were to go and get one that is already packaged. So this lettuce, I mean this spinach right here, I'll show you, is $2.49 but you would probably be able to get it cheaper, and it's organic too, but you'd probably be able to get it cheaper if it's not packaged. For your tomatoes, I'm gonna make sure that they are rosy in color, but don't be fooled when you get produce, especially colorful produce like carrots, tomatoes, uh, that's not organic. Oftentimes, it has a little bit of a polish on it to make it look more fresh and healthy than it really is. For example here, see these cucumbers? There's a lot of condensation in there. See that condensation? You want to get, again, produce that doesn't have all that condensation in it. All right, here we have a different package. And again, Aldi is doing really well. This is spinach also. There's no liquid at the bottom. They're doing well. This must have been stocked today. If you've ever heard of the uh, Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen, well, if you have the Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen, you want to get produce um, on that Clean 15 generally will be the ones that have uh, a hard outer coating to them, like bananas, mangoes, things like that. The ones that you want to make sure you try to get organic as much as possible are the ones that have a thin skin. So for example, your cucumbers, they have a thin skin. You want to get those organic. Same thing with your strawberries, okay? Because what happens is they soak up all that wonderful pesticide that they put on there so that it can make it to the grocery store and then you are ingesting all of that. No matter how much you try to wash it off, you will not be able to wash off all of it. And that affects your liver. That tip was for free. Okay, so let's continue to move on. Like I said, you wanna shop the perimeter first. So we're gonna venture over here to some of our fruits and vegetables. We have, oh, I love the clementines. I'm not gonna lie. Now, I'll do, does not have the clementines organic but you are safer to go with these because they have that hard outer shell and they're very good too very nice and sweet great kids snack would you agree <laughs> yes 
he's the silent type but yes he agrees all right so we're continuing to go and look at all of the produce now apples if you are looking for a way to beat your sugar habit apples are great because they're sweet they also are high in fiber yay which means you're going to be regular and they uh, can be substituted for sugar can be substituted for eggs in a variety of dishes apples are very versatile all right so let's keep going here we have our mangoes now <clears throat> when you're shopping for mangoes you don't you got you want to press in you don't want it to just like stay there <laughs> you want it to be a little bit firmer unless it's one that you're going to use right away okay pears are absolutely delicious and i will tell you that when you are looking at vegetables and fruit the ones that are on sale are one of two things either they are in season or they're about to go bad so check and make sure that you're getting good produce and good pricing now aldi is a great place to shop when you are on a budget so you can get apples like this like these little pink lady apples as you see for 3.89 you can go to many other stores and pay upwards to almost seven dollars for apples but again you want to make sure that you're getting them in season the granny smith ones here are 2.99 red delicious 2.99 gala apples 2.99 and fuji but you also want to make sure that as you're doing this you are getting the proper ones because if you want a tart one for say baking you don't want to go and get a sweet apple or vice versa all right so now we're heading to the inner aisles i said you always want to shop the perimeter first but instead of me walking all the way around the store again i'm going to show you some of the things that you can get that are good pricing yeah he almost got caught <laughs> dancing in the middle of the aisle come on over here okay so you are trying to pack on the proteins nuts are the way to go and they're not expensive either like for right here these whole cashews love 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 the cashews i like them best when they are unsalted so if you're watching your salt make sure that you get the ones that are unsalted but the same thing with uh pistachios you can see the pistachios up here uh what else do we have here almonds are a great source here too and if you're like me and you don't want to eat the same nut all the time then you have the variety right here which is raw almond pecans pistachio kernels they are a great source of protein all right plus with cashews i have a wonderful recipe for uh, a cashew cheese and a cashew sauce so that's good pumpkin seeds <clears throat> pumpkin seeds are high in protein look at that and fiber okay so you get five grams of protein in that only one gram of sugar so that's like you know a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar on that and then the fiber in that is amazing again keep your regular that's our purpose keep everything moving to keep that belly down another sugar a great sugar substitute dried cranberries and you want to make sure that the dried cranberries that you get the sugar is not the first ingredient okay these I don't particularly get these because there there is a lot of sugar in those. Um, I do get mine from a mom and pop store. So if you have a mom and pop store around you, you want to go and see about getting nice fresh cranberries from them that are already dried. All right, so let's see what we have here. We are bypassing all of this. Bypassing all of this. Yes, we are bypassing all of this. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to the dairy section and the meat section. If you eat dairy, there are certain things that you wanna look out for. So for example, you wanna make sure that the foods that you are eating have limited ingredients. So for example, uh, this one right here. Pasteurized milk, cheese, culture, salt microbial enzymes and annatto which is a vegetable coloring any cheese that you get that's colored nine times out of ten it's uh, it's a man-made color it's not uh naturally occurring like that so you want to look for cheeses that are white so right here as you see you have uh, 
Part skim milk, cheese cultures, salt, and microbial enzymes. No color added to that. And you'll see that with the Swiss cheese, and you'll see that with the uh, Monterey Jack as well. When you are looking for shredded, I'll tell you something too. Shredded cheese, they have more ingredients in it because you don't want to have it cake up. But honestly, if you've got kids, just let them shred it. It's so much cheaper. <laughs> because look, you're only getting six ounces in that for $2. Six ounces for $2. And now you've got sulfates that are added. You've got cornstarch and other items in there that you do not need. Mold inhibitors, blah, blah, blah. But you can get the block. So what was that? That was six ounces, right? You can get the block of cheese, which is eight ounces for less. The shredded cheese. The deli meats tend to have extra stuff to keep it fresh, to keep it from caking, to keep it bad quickly. When you can just go ahead and get a turkey breast and slice it yourself. It honestly is very quick to slice turkey breast. All right, so we have our meat section here. Anybody who knows me knows I absolutely love Costco. What is that noise? I don't, I don't know. It's like the yeah, it's like the whole thing just came alive. I don't know what that noise is, but we're gonna ignore it. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love live TV. Okay, so like I was saying, anybody who knows me knows I love Costco. Costco has ground beef that is 100% grass fed, very similar to Simply Nature. At Costco, you get three of these, just like you see here, organic, three of these for $19.99. Here they have it for $17.96. That is a notable difference. That's two dollars and what three cents difference, right? So you can go, you know, buy yourself some. And it's happening over here. What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what that sound is, but it's almost freaking me out. So <laughs> we'll go back to the meat. Okay, so we have now the fresh ground turkey with natural flavorings. I don't know what natural flavorings is. I don't know what that means. So I don't get stuff that says it has natural flavorings in it. For the most part, if I can help it because it's scary. I think like toe jam is a natural flavor, but natural to food. That's the question. Now, when you're looking for chicken, and many meats for that matter, you'll see um, brands that say, or packaging that says, contains up to 15% chicken broth, sea salt, and natural flavorings. If you don't want all that extra sodium in your diet, which you really don't need all that extra sodium in your diet, you want to look for packaging that says, no antibiotics, no animal byproducts, 100% vegetarian fed, no hormones, no added steroids, no added salt, right there, no added salt. I'm gonna show you the difference between the two of these, okay? So we're flipping them over. If you can see right here, chicken, 30% cholesterol, 23% cholesterol, 160 milligrams of sodium, and then you have 7%. That is 7% of your daily intake. And again, that's only four ounce serving, okay? And we tend to have, in my house, I don't know, we go back for seconds. So you're getting more than 7%. Here, you're looking at the sodium content, it's 1%. So that really does make a difference, especially if you are trying to control your sodium levels or control your blood pressure. And here is another key indicator right here that I love. So protein, if you're looking, if you get your protein from animal-based sources, right here, you're only getting 36% of your protein for the day. Whereas in this one, you get 27 grams, which is 54% of your protein for the day. So little things to look for when you are shopping. Now, yes, will you pay for it here? Oh yeah, you are. You are gonna pay for not having the salt, not having all the extra additives in it because 
this one's not gonna last as long unless you put it in the freezer as this one will okay but there are so many things that you can do with this in the long run that you know a dollar and change you're really saving with this one I'm saving on medical bills too all right so now I'm gonna venture into the refrigerated section that's non-meat I want to take a look at this when you see small writing stay away from it because that means that there's a lot of stuff in there either you can't pronounce or you don't need in your diet so you want to stay away from that all right let me just check on my trusty helper back there you good are you good you're good i know me too yes i know that's why we're in the grocery store to get some food okay so now if you're looking for milk if you drink dairy milk aldi has amazing prices on dairy milk 65 cents i mean you really kind of can't beat that but if you don't do dairy like my family we cannot tolerate dairy you can get a variety of choices here so you have coconut you have almond you have soy even have look at that chocolate almond which is actually pretty good might I add but when you're looking for a particular milk that is a nut based milk you want to look for some key ingredients so right here you want the first ingredient obviously to be almond milk which is just filtered water and almonds evaporated cane syrup so yeah there's going to be some sugar because if you want to make it nice and sweet there'll be sugar but you can also get it where there is no sugar, where it's unsweetened. And so you want to make sure that the ingredients in here that you can kind of recognize, like xanthan gum, things like that, you want to kind of recognize. But here's one ingredient. Ooh, if I can put that back. Where is it? I think we'll go with this one. Here is one ingredient you do not want to get in your milk. Or really in anything that you purchase. And I don't know if you can see it right there. Carrageenan. You do not want here, and I'll even zoom in on it if you can focus. I don't know if my phone will be able to focus. Carrageenan. You do not want that in your food at all. It has been shown to be linked to cancer. So that's not something that you want to be feeding your family, I am sure. My daughter absolutely loves coconut milk too. And you can get coconut milk either in the container that needs to be refrigerated or in a can where it doesn't need to be refrigerated. All right, let's see what else. Okay, my, my trusty helper, I think he's fading. We're, we're almost done for the public. Oh, how cute. I'm sorry. I know this is supposed to be a grocery store tour, but this is really stinking cute. Is it not? I wish I could take a selfie with it. I don't know how. To... The fun that we have at the grocery store. <laughs> All right. Please don't let it eat me. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Now I'm going to show you some things, especially if you are like me and you don't have a whole lot of time on your hands and you need food that is quick. I don't do a lot of convenience foods, but there are some that I do for my kids so that they can quickly get something to eat. These turkey burgers, these are seasonal at Aldi, so you won't find them here all the time, but it's $5.99. For 12 of them do you like these are they good yes they are and you can season them up however you want to season them but again looking at the ingredients i love the ingredients turn it upside right side up so you can see it it's just turkey rosemary extract and salt easy breezy meal that gets your approval okay very good okay thank you all right Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Sorry for the wobbliness of this video. Okay, so as we are going, huh, let's. All right, we are gonna go. Oh, this is another thing I want to tell you. So, if you are getting vegetables, the beautiful thing about vegetables is they can easily be frozen. So. You can get fresh vegetables, and if you don't get fresh vegetables, the next best thing is getting 
flash frozen vegetables such as these. And when you look at your vegetables, as your green beans, there really should only be one ingredient, green beans. If there's more than that, don't get it. So these really could be a very good value for you because as you see, those are $1.39. You can get steamable vegetables for 79 cents and that really can be cost effective for your family's budget. Again, we kind of steer clear of all of these already made processed things because just like I was sharing with you, isolate your food allergy and all the other stuff that's in it. Okay. But two, you can get fruit, 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 fruit. Fruit, you can get it either in organic or in traditional or non-organic, shall I say. 209 for a 16 ounce, 289 for a 12 ounce being organic. And again, this is a very good value, but if you don't want to purchase it already done up, then you can freeze it yourself. Just buy the fresh one and freeze it yourself. Now I'm going to share, we're going to go to the interior of the store before we finish up here. So I'm a trusty steed. Come on. Thank you for turning around. I think he makes his own way at the grocery store. Go ahead, but be careful because there are people behind you. Okay, we're going this way. Thank you. All right, so this is where we're gonna go. All right, this is where we're gonna go. And where we're going right now is to the dressings. Because when you're cooking food, you wanna make sure that you're getting flavor out of your food. I mean, it doesn't make sense to go and get all this healthy stuff if you're not gonna like what you're gonna eat. So we're gonna go to the dressings right now. I'm gonna give you some dressings. Oh, before we get to the dressings, yes, I know, me seeing another butterfly. Um, before we get to that, this cashew butter, love it, love it, love it. Now, it is a little bit more pricey than, say, peanut butter. Uh, not as pricey as the almond butter, but it is so worth it. And if you're looking for a deal, they've got peanut butter on sale for $1.15. Okay, so we're going to the dressings okay so we have a variety to choose from i personally like the creamy ones but that's probably what's packing on my weight <laughs> so you can get vinaigrettes and maybe add a little bit of cream to it for yourself just to make your belly happy or your not your taste buds happy because it's not making your belly happy <laughs> but you have natural ingredients in these i like that but now you're paying a dollar 89 for it okay so a dollar 89 for 12 ounces of dressing which will probably in my house be gone within the week you can make these yourself if you buy raspberries and you've got some vinegar and some spices, you honestly can make this yourself. Very inexpensive and it lasts you, If, it's, like I said in my house, that only lasts about a week. So it'll probably last you a little bit more than a week. All right, so that is pretty much it. That will conclude our grocery store tour here in Aldi for the day. If you want your own grocery store tour, your own personal tour where we shop for the things that you like that are on your grocery list and we work through some substitutions that you may need or just you want to splurge a little bit cheese danish or something we can do that too and i also show you how to read each and every label i show you how to shop oh i know i probably shouldn't give my little secrets away here but this pesto sauce Do you like this pesto sauce? Yes? I know, right? Tell you, little pleasures. Yeah, so they have this pesto sauce in green sauce, and they used to have a red sauce. I'm not seeing the red sauce right now, but if you do have the opportunity to get the red sauce, get it because it never lasts.
Okay, so back to what I was saying. If you want to do your own grocery store tour, feel free to message me at cleangoodeats.com forward slash contact me. And I will, I would love to do a grocery store tour with you. Also, this Friday, we are having a on or an online cooking class where we're going to be doing our fast food favorites. So if you want anything that we're going to make can be purchased at Aldi or really any grocery store near you. And we're going to be doing some a take on your fast food favorites. Well, excuse me, the teen fast food favorites and teens at heart. That's me. <laughs> and so we're going to be enjoying a night of cooking. I look forward to seeing you on Friday and seeing you next week too. Bye-bye.